to talk to me um yeah um thanks for thanks for having me i'm a, i'm honored sweet um okay so i have a bunch of questions and feel free to pass on any questions if you don't want to answer them or if there's something that you want to talk about that i haven't asked you about you can let me know um, all right sure so what was the first piece of art that you made and you looked at it and you felt like I can I can do this. Um, so the first piece of art that uh, that made me that uh, like what motivated me to to keep on drawing. I guess so, or something where it was like you you felt like you had something to say and and that it was worth sharing it that that it, or you wanted to share it. I mean, maybe the question is more like why do you share your art? And is it about the mm. art, or is it about something else? No, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I've uh, I've been drawing for a long time. Um, uh, yeah, from a young age, I've been drawing a lot. Um, I guess I started um, like drawing digitally or painting digitally for um, around like five years or so. I think probably ten or five years ago, I started taking it more seriously um perhaps uh i think uh, probably somewhat recently i feel like i i've found like um i guess i'd say my style or i feel like i know i started to like know what i was doing or what i wanted to like communicate with art rather than just drawing images um yeah, it's it's hard to say what, um, like what one drawing made me realize that like made me realize something uh, substantial, but um, I'm not sure. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty proud of that one drawing I posted recently, um, the May sixteenth one. Yeah. Um, probably because I wasn't really sure where I was going with to begin with, but then the more I worked on it and looking at it afterwards, I, I kind of, I had a sense of, um, I just got the feeling that I, I feel like I know what I'm doing or what I want to do with art. So I hope, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, we're going to talk about that piece. Um, so, so what is it that you want to do? You see, you know what you're doing and you know what you want to do. What is that? <laughs> uh, so, um, that piece, um, I just call it the like Tom and Jerry piece because it features a rat and a, a cat. Um, so that was uh, that's actually a piece of fan art for. Um, it started out as a piece of fan art for a a Twitch streamer called German Nine Eight Five. Um, so during quarantine, I watched a lot of um, German Nine Eight Five's videos and stuff just to keep myself occupied during quarantine and um i saw that other people were um creating fan art for him and i decided that like well he kind of i think seeing the fan art kind of like gave me some ideas for what i could do with art i think it was at the time where i was kind of running out of ideas about um, like what to draw i was running out of inspiration and yeah something was i, I was i found the fan art appealing and it gave me some ideas to, like, just try different things. The thing about the fan art that people make for the, the Twitch streamer is that it's pretty odd, and it just seems like that's just kind of accepted in the community, just strange fan art. So that kind of, I felt like a, that was, like, some, some weird leeway for me to experiment with different things. 
And um, so, yeah, um, it started out as, as fan art and, and kind of just divulged into uh, an abstract collage of some sort. And I think after I made that, I, I, I realized, like, I could kind of, I could kind of make abstract collages of art. It took me a while to, for a long time, I didn't really know, like, what to do with, like, my my ability to render things uh, digitally when painting. But then when I discovered that I could do, like, strange collages, I, I felt like, oh, this, that's, that works for me. And, yeah, I like the result of it, so... Uh, yeah, I hope that answers the question. Yeah, when you said it's like odd, it it like the reaction I have is like this amazing mixture of surprise and like being impressed with like there's beauty and there's also ugliness and there's also irony and humor in it and yeah. all those things put together in like an unexpected way that that's that's the reaction I have and I feel like art sometimes it um, people try to make people try to say that the art has to mean something but if it just creates that reaction I think that is like very valuable you know thing to experience um, yeah so so that's the that's the May 16th piece um, and yeah, it's like, it's abstract, but it's not abstract. There's like figurative stuff in here. And anyway, I'm like, um, we'll figure out a way to share that with people. Um, what about, um, well, I kind of wanted to ask like some of the stuff that you're posting is just, um, simple sketches of like one character and I don't recognize these characters, so I don't know if they're like, um, something that people are, are not normally going to recognize, but I can tell from looking at them that they are like fictitious characters. And like, um, I guess it makes me think of like portraiture a as an art form. Cause it's like just a face or like a head and shoulders kind of thing. And, and portraiture has like a history all about sort of personality and communicating stuff. And so what, what's it like doing portraiture of, uh, character that doesn't exist yeah um or that only that's exists probably in, sorry what you said or, or that only exists in like a fantasy world or whatever yeah 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 well i i guess um like character art or um yeah fictional portraits and that kind of art is probably that's uh, i i think that's the the kind of art that I'm most familiar with is I think like starting out um like I, I started out by like drawing Pokemons and stuff and things that I saw on TV so um yeah, I, I'd say that's like the one art form that I'm most familiar with um and I guess I go back and forth between like painting and portraiture depending on say what my what, what, what my what my mood is or like what what I'm feeling like like creating so as of recent I've been I've been drawing mostly just sketches of, of characters I'm trying to um, just trying to have a, like get my hand on like character design or concept art and um, well yeah I, I talked about it with my uh, some of my art friends the other day about like just like I guess the difference between like say character art or like uh, between character art and painting or something like abstract art I guess is um or, or the reason that I'm more experimental with art rather than with um uh like character art or portraits and it's it's a, I guess it's the fact that with well, when I'm doing like character art or simple sketches it's um like my main motive is just to I guess convey a narrative or portray a character, whereas I guess with art, I'm I'm I more or less want to experiment, or or just create some visuals, whether they have meaning or not. Um. So yeah, um, uh, I don't know if that answered your question. Yeah, I don't know either. 
Um, that's okay. Um, uh, can you tell us about two artist influences you have that are like people from the past and then two artists making work now that you like? Uh, I can think of, uh, so, uh, during last year, I was really into this artist called Trey Abdella, who, um, I think he's a mixed media artist. Um, I took, I took all uh, heavy inspiration from Trey Abdella to uh, doing that, um, May 16th drawing. So Trey Abdella, he often includes, he, he kind of mixes like cartoony characters and rendering and realistic rendering. And uh, sometimes even, although he, I believe he makes his art traditionally, he paints and uses mixed media. Even then he'll like implement like, uh, like elements of digital art like with um on photoshop you can use something called like a smear tool or um uh if you i don't know if you've ever used photoshop before or yeah 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 um there's like if an image is transparent the background will be like these white and gray checkers well sometimes he'll, he'll just like include like digital art elements into his traditional painting and i'm i was a, I was a big fan of that and his um his distorted cartoon characters. So I, I'd say that's, I guess that's one artist that I've uh, been inspired by recently. Besides that, um, I can't really think of like any one like particular artist. I I think growing up, I I was just uh, mostly inspired by art I saw on the internet, like fan art or I guess like cartoons. Yeah, this May 16th piece, there's like a bit of like a George Kondo vibe. I don't know if that's a name you're familiar with. Oh, I'm not familiar with that name, but I'll definitely check that out. He did a George couple Kondo. of, he did like a Kanye West album cover and stuff. Um, or Kanye West used one of his paintings for an album cover. Anyway. Is it the album cover with um, like this bear flying out into space or? I don't actually think that's the one. I think All it's right. like mostly red and then there's like a little picture in the middle, but I'm not like, I don't own that album. So um, <laughs> that's fair. I'll definitely check that out. So this April 15th piece, um, this is cool. Like there's this painting, this face, this painting of this face is really intense. And then there's like some Arabic script. What's going yeah. on there? So, uh, I had actually, I found this image on Pinterest, which was, um, it was, it, um, that, that drawing I made was like heavily influenced by that picture. It was, it was virtually the same, but it was, it was a photo, photoshopped image, uh, with a sky and a flying dove, but the face was Paris Hilton and the Arabic text was slightly different. And what I did was I, um, well, I asked my Arabic friend to like translate the text for me, and uh, well, he said that like it was it was grammatically incorrect, but it basically said something along the lines of like I am addicted to you. And well, even not knowing what the Arabic text said, I was I thought that the image was very intriguing and a little bit well, it was very humorous because I mean, out of context, the picture of Paris Hilton with a dove and in the sky and text I couldn't read I thought it was very intriguing and and I thought that I could just I could probably do my own version just like I, I thought about doing my own version but with with German 95's face on it instead because uh, the community that he has and the people that make art of him they just well they just draw weird things so I thought I thought it'd be humorous if I kind of did my own interpretation but uh with German 95's face on it. Uh, originally, I just, I, I intended on giving him pupils, but I saw it without the pupils and I thought that looked, it looked kind of cool and somewhat eerie. But at the same time, it, it made me think of like marble statues that don't have pupils. So I guess that was just a little touch that I, I felt like including. And is this painted with like mixed media or is this a digital painting? 
Uh, that's a digital painting. Okay. And if, for people who don't know who Germa 95 is, can you explain that? Uh, uh, German, uh, well, the painting or who no, he is? No, like who, who that is, yeah. Uh, well, German 95 is a, um, so he's a, um, he's a streamer on Twitch. He, uh, he plays video games, so he's somewhat of a, he's like a Let's Play channel on Twitch, on TV. And he has, he just has a somewhat strange uh, fan base in terms of, uh, I don't know, he just, somehow he just encourages like strange fan creations or strange interact, strange interactions with him. So when he's uh, streaming video games, people can interact with him in the chat room while he plays the game. And sometimes, sometimes they'll just say right outrageous things. That either humor, humors him or just, uh, I guess, make it weirds him out. So he's a uh, he's a he plays video games on on the internet and he has a, a strange fan base. Okay. Um, let's go to the August nineteenth sketch. Um, this is a sketch from your Instagram, and it looks like. It's not digital. Am I right? Sorry, you cut off there. What'd you say? I said um, this August 19th sketch, the sketch you posted on August 19th, looks like it's not digital. Am I Am I correct? Yeah, that was uh, that was done on in my sketchbook. Uh, that was while I was uh, at home and back home with my mom. I didn't have my tablet, so I was drawing a lot on paper. And, uh, I like using colored pens and yeah, I was, uh, during that time I was spending a lot of time on Pinterest trying to get ideas and, uh, yeah, for that one, I, I was looking at tattoo art and like tattoo art from the two thousands. So tattoo art that's kind of resembling like tribal tattoos. But um, I found some, like, tramp stamp designs that use, like, floral pa patterns I thought was very interesting. And um, some, like, tribal tattoo patterns that kind of reminded me of the Hot Wheels flames. And I thought I wanted to try and, I guess, try and make line art with that kind of, a, those kind of patterns. The same way that some tribal tattoos, like, make out the shape of a dragon or a tiger. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, there's just something uncanny about it. Like, it looks, like, figurative, but every time I look at it, it keeps changing, like, what it could be. If it's, like, an alien or, like, some kind of mouth opening or, like, yeah. I And it, it seems like uh, a lot of your fans really responded to it as well. <laughs> yeah, so I, I don't actually know if... I don't know how uh, how clear it was for people who saw it, but it was supposed to it's supposed to be Donald Duck. But uh, word, yeah, okay. amazing. Yes, that <laughs> and now you. like even the little hat, I can see. <laughs> That's cool. Um, Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, that's and that's why it's like uncanny is because I'm looking at something and there's something there that I know but I can't see it. And I'm like just paying attention to all these other details. Um, so the last one is the, this Halloween um, uh, piece, but wait, it's April 1st. So you made a Halloween piece on April Fool's Day? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I originally I, I wanted to finish that painting for Halloween, but uh, as I eventually finished it it was almost april 1st so i thought okay i'll just post it on april 1st and say happy halloween i suppose <laughs> so yeah <laughs> um i took um uh like a decade ago when i started using the internet i i i liked a lot of um like wolf art on deviant art but these wolves were like very colorful or had like huge hair and just very, I guess, very fashionable 
emo wolves on DeviantArt, and I look back on, like, art that I used to like 10 years ago and, and thought maybe I could, like, try and reinvent some of that with a new painting, but make it kind of, I guess, aggressive or, I don't know, a bit outrageous. I'm quite a... I really like, um, like, photos that use flash, flash photography um, and create, like, a direct, like, shadow cast it in a dark background and I thought um, I might as well try that I think it gives an eerie an eerie at- atmosphere and that might that might work work well with I guess that very distorted face and I wanted to incorporate some um, some blingy um, aesthetics if um, <laughs> if you're familiar with blingy yeah well, in that, I yeah, that direct flash effect, um, yeah, it, that totally works. What is bungee? What is that? Oh, bungee. Uh, uh, there used to be this. Um, there used to be this website called Blingy, where you could upload a, a photo, and just add, like, uh, sparkly gifs on top of your photo, or. Uh, just add like sparkly filters on top of your photo and I guess those were pretty popular uh, uh, in the early 2000s and I remember seeing those a lot on the internet and I guess I was a bit nostalgic for that and I thought it might work with the the uh, the wolf that I was trying to to portray like um, like that emo wolf uh, aesthetic I thought it might work well together. Um, so I guess bun- bungee is just like, uh, well, it's supposed to be blingy, but I didn't know if I'd get in trouble if I used the word blingy, so. Okay. So you're sort of, it's like, um, yeah, it's like your whatever ad buster, like encoding that, yeah. Um, oh, and I just noticed the cracked phone. Um, so... Like, this is interesting, right? Because you call this, like, horror furry. And, um, like, uh, furries are this thing that, like, exist in the world. And then, like, and then people make art about it. And I feel like that's the opposite of a lot of culture. Where somebody creative is, like, making something of art. And then people kind of like adapt it and uh, wear it as a costume, you know, like punk or, you know, I don't know. I mean, I guess there's like a constant flux like that. But is there like a part of like furry culture that like, um, that you're like sending somewhere else? Yeah. So, well, I I can't deny that starting it when I started using the internet, I, I did like, I did happen to look at like, like animal drawings online. So that did make me like interested in like drawing animals that stand on two legs. Um, the way that I'm not very familiar with what I guess, like the mainstream furry art scene looks like right now, but I happen to follow some artists who, who draw like anthropomorphic animals and I guess take on a um, just an interesting twist on it I guess like putting very colorful animals in like a realistic environment or like a or like a, a dark grimy environment which I found like very intriguing just like putting something like making something that looks very out of place and I guess some somewhat ironic um, I've I think I did want to do something slightly ironic by, I guess, like, making this very, like, colorful animal that's somewhat, like, threatening looking. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> what did you, I don't know if I answered your question. I might have derailed it. No, you kind of did. Like, yeah. I mean, I think that... Um that's like a part of the human condition is like feeling like a very brightly colored animal and a very um uh you know uh flat boring space 
gray space reality and um and having some like um kind of like empowering like either like scary kind of threatening or like in this it's not like it's like scary and threatening but it's also really colorful and blingy and like kind of magical with this uh liquid so um that's like yeah that sounds like a great way to get through the day <laughs> if, we're, <laughs> if we're feeling that way um yeah i said yeah i suppose i i I, I'm, I mostly just wanted to take something that, that something that feels exclusive to the internet being like i guess furry art and i don't know making it somewhat out of place in terms of how furry art is usually seen i guess furry art is typically i guess like regular um like character art it's 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 portrayed to like convey a, a narrative or something or just to like display the character and then and it's usually just regular furry art it's just regular like a character just being normal and being like a human and i guess i wanted to see what i could do to make it seem ironic or humorous but still like something that I'd find appealing. I, I do like horror art, and I thought maybe I could make something kind of horrific. <laughs> but um, just with, like, I guess, like an ironic um, atmosphere. But, yeah, I, 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 I try different ways of, I guess, taking elements from Internet culture and then seeing how I could make it, like, seem out of place. Yeah, or in a way, like, putting it in place, like, I don't know, this image just feels like things f things falling into place that uh, I'm used to seeing um, the kind of being awkward or tacky, and suddenly, like, phew, they're, like, in a, in, it looks like an album cover, you know, or whatever, it looks, it looks good. Um, uh... So you make art prints of this stuff and then you sell them online and like you print them at home or um, what, what other ways can people see your work? Um, so uh, I, I don't make art prints at home. There, is a, um, there are a few websites that allow you to upload your files and um, they can then be ordered by people and they have like factories that print them out for you. So I, I don't make any, I don't make any prints at home or any, any merchandise. Uh, I, I put them on, I put them through those websites because some people were asking me if, if there was anywhere they could buy like prints. Um, so I, I don't do it like by hand at home or anything. And is that like, so far, that's sort of how you imagine, like, kind of disseminating your work is sort of Instagram and then these uh, printed-to-order prints, which I think are great because there's no waste. So it's, you know, they just make one when a person needs one, which is really nice. And you don't have to ship it twice. Like, you don't have to have it shipped to you and then you ship it to them. It just gets shipped directly to them. Um, yeah, pretty much. Have you, uh, is, is sort of... Um, other parts of the art world interesting to you, like galleries, or you know, are you, are you have you gone to art school? Are you thinking about art school? Is that part of? Yeah. So uh, uh, currently, I'm I'm studying animation, um, and I do I do enjoy animation. Um, although I think I might have a, a bigger passion for like I guess illustration or art, and. Um, I guess I'm I'm not as familiar with what the art world looks like as as much as I'm familiar with I guess animation or the animation industry. So like I think uh galleries I think that sounds very um uh, I think galleries are appealing. Um but I I don't know if I I um I don't know if I can like see myself like with a gallery um like exhibition, I'm not really, I don't really, I'm not very acquainted with other people who like have galleries. I'm mostly just acquainted with people who do animation. And, and I guess with, um, selling prints and stuff, I, I have like, I have like had ideas for like what else I could, I guess, sell as a sticker or a print. 
or a t-shirt but um i think i i'm I'm very comfortable with with just uh creating art and and putting it on the internet it it works pretty well with for me and um and just um i guess some drawings that i can just keep on my computer without posting um it works pretty well with me but i don't know like what that would look like in the long run for example um like i don't know how long i'm going to be on the internet for at some point i'm probably not going to be as active but i'm always going to be drawing anyway um um okay um how can people support you if they want to um i'm assuming there's a link in your bio to buy those prints yeah i have a uh, yeah on my my website i have some shops and um i have a uh, there's a website called um uh, coffee which um uh, just has my paypal link to it so people can like just like make small payments so um yeah i have i have those two shops and then i have like a coffee website so um and are, are you promoting anything new is there anything coming up that you want people to watch out for uh i am working on a um i uh i'm working on this this uh i've been making music on the uh on like in my free time and i've been thinking of well i'm i'm going to release that eventually it's just two songs it's just going to be a, a short album i'm currently working on the the album art for it and like a short promotional video for it i haven't exactly brought any attention to it yet i just thought that as soon as i finish it then like i'll upload it and then people will know about it but uh I guess I'm not very uh, I'm not very good at like promoting my things or or like bringing attention to like upcoming projects but there's that I am I, I'm I'm working on like some album art for two songs so I suppose Sick. there's that Sick Yeah I understand it's like sometimes your Halloween drawing doesn't come out till April so <laughs> just, Exactly like you got to keep people waiting and that's okay Um all right well I think that's everything um, oh yeah, uh, just tell us, like, who you are and where you are. Uh, well, I am Casey Novocaine, I'm, I'm studying in England, um, I draw digitally, and, well, yeah, I'm studying animation, but I have a passion for illustrating and painting, and, uh, if that's up your alley check out cool um great well thanks um thank you so much